Hello, beautiful people of the world today. How are you doing today? Are you popping? Because I know I'm popping. Well, again, this is your girl Jackie all the way from Uganda. And I have a very, very interesting video for us today. So I just need you to sit down, get, get yourself a glass of wine, get yourself water, get yourself a cup of tea. Anything that rocks your world, sit down. Let's dip into this video because it's going to be an interesting one well this video is about things that we should completely stop doing in 2018 i don't expect us to be doing certain things because they are annoying as fuck and they are pissing they are so annoying they are very very annoying these trends should not be in 2018 they should not cross through they should not this year should not end with such trends happening now i know i talked about moisturizing but damn they are this this i'm gonna call it a class there's or a group there's this group of beautiful men and women out there that wear jeans that are low cut in that their butt crack is out damn no one wants to look at a butt crack i know for a fact i do not want to look at anyone's butt crack especially when it's ashy the stretch marks are out. No, I'm not even trying to hate on the stretch marks. No, any beautiful African woman has got stretch marks. They are beautiful. They are given to us by God. It's nature's creating. Stretch marks are beautiful, but not beautiful enough for me to see. Keep those stretch marks covered up in your jeans. Don't. I don't want to see an ashy stretch, an ashy butt out there. In that, when you tap it. Ash is falling off that butt crack. I do not want to see wind blows it and <sighs> the ash from your butt crack is in my face. I don't want to test it. <sniffs> Dang. It, there is just a lot going on. And for those who are, have extra hair on their body, in that it comes on the butt and you're wearing low waist jeans and you have hair on your butt, what do you think that looks like for us? the viewers what do you think a hairy butt looks like to us who are seeing nasty is the word nasty that stuff is nasty it's very very nasty oil up your butt cover it up we do not want to see it we definitely don't want to see it there are many ways you can pass off with fewer clothing in a decent way you know you can be skimpy in a nice way, you know, sexy way. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with little clothing in a nice way, in an appealing way, not an appalling way, you know. You don't have to walk around with ashy buds, ashy toes. It's, oh, Jesus Christ, Lord. Then there are these other group of people who do not shave their armpits. Lord Jesus. It's sweaty and the sweat is dripping off the hairs and they like to sit like this. Like put their hand around you. Jesus Christ, I'm going to hit that hand so hard. Don't put that hand around me when you have longest hair popping out. You know, and it's sweating and it's dripping. Toop, toop. If you listen so well, you'd hear even the sound of the sweat dripping. I don't want that. I'm going to smack that hand. I'll smack that hand. Don't put it around me. Don't, do, do not. Do not. Well, then there's this new other type of people. Oh, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus of the black people. The people who move with mucus in their nose now i know it's cool not to pick your nose but then strike that i know it's cool to not to pick your nose in public do not do it in public no one wants to see that but you actually have to pick your nose go somewhere go in the bathroom as you're cleaning up in the morning the nose too has to be cleaned as you're brushing your teeth cleaning your eyes cleaning your every other parts your man parts your lady parts the nose too needs attention i do not want to be seated away from you and you i'm looking at buggy coming out of your nose some people go on to even laugh and a balloon you know 
a balloon like you know when you laugh and then a balloon comes out of the nose oh lord jesus christ no one wants to deal with that so when a balloon comes out of your nose am i supposed to say sorry am i supposed to be offended because deep down i'm offended apparently because i'm wondering did some of that fall into my food do i even keep eating what do i do with that how do i handle that how do i deal with that should it be you apologizing to me for showing me a nasty gross side oh lord jesus christ i don't know what to do now the nose and the eyes are kind of the same thing they are that nasty stuff that come in the aisle when you sleep it's either sometimes moist and other times dry let's just clean after ourselves i don't want sometimes i'm actually forced to do this on my own eye just to give you a sign you know some of you that have done this too i'm just doing this so that you can also get to do this in your eyes i'm kind of hoping that it's contagious that when i touch my eyes it will spread to you and you'll touch your eyes so that you have to clean your eyes and then after i have to wonder if you're gonna touch me after cleaning your nasty ass eyes your nasty dirty eyes do you jesus christ this, these are things we are supposed to do in the morning when we've woken up clean after ourselves look after ourselves now the people with bad breath whew, you fall in another category buy these bad boys buy these bad boys move with them these are very cheap buy yourself a bottle of water drink this water all the time this is going to help keep your breath fresh this is very nice these things are cheap they're not for sure they're not keep saliva flowing in your mouth don't talk to somebody and somebody's like whoo i don't need that i do not need that i have a lot of other things that are not working out in your in my life i do not want your bad breath to be among the things that are not working out in my life I don't want for you to speak and then you're here and then I'm like, yeah, yeah, what did you say? Okay, I don't need that. I do not need that. Come on, work with me. Let's work together. Work with me here. You know, let's work on that breath, on that bad breath. Get these bad boys. Keep them with you at all times and life will be good. So let all these things stop. We cannot wait till the end of 2017. I need for them to stop today. I need for them to stop now. 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 If not for yourselves, do it for us. Us who care. Do it for us. Because you know what? Your bad breath is so intoxicating. The ashy, when that ash rubs off your butt, it's going to remain on the seats. We don't want to deal with that. I don't want police. I don't want to touch the cells where your ashy, the cells from your ashy butt, and then transfer them somewhere. And then police is all hovering over me because I just transferred your DNA to your DNA. All of a sudden, got transferred to me. I don't know. When, if you watch CSI or X Files or whatever, I think you should be knowing this stuff and how they work. So please, please, please. 